Aww. So it looks like his mum, dad, he's got a sister. Time to get going. Oh, Reen! Morning, Elliot. Good, bro. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor, at least. Gaius in particular is probably long gone by now, being the early riser he is. Uh, oh, okay then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? You know what I like about this JRPG so far? It's like... Characters are picking up on weird stuff when they happen. And they're not just ignoring it. Except for the bloody class 6 thing. But even that, someone asked about. Um, I, I, This is an example right there. And also another example was when the teacher said something and Makina was like... Uh, oh god, I forgot what she said, but like, there was a really good example there. So like, when a, so they're questioning weird stuff happening or... If they don't like something, they just straight up question it in this game. And it's not just breezed upon like in most games. I really like that. Really, really like that. Makes it much more real. So it seems <sighs> Reen has got like some powers or something. Which he alluded to... Uh, towards the boss or something. He was like, oh, I'm going to have to... And then stopped or something. Okay. Good morning. That's more like it. Morning, Emma. Y yeah. Good morning. Morning. Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey, wait for me, Elisa. We'll see you in class. I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. Let's go, Elliot. Well said. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class seven's got enough tension as it is. What with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. I'll certainly do what I can. Whatever that may be. These past two weeks have really flown by, haven't they? It's funny, I went into this thinking combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side of things might give it a run for its money. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Machias or Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. But then, Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machias wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well too. Yusus? Okay, yeah, I remember them. As are Laura <laughs> and Gaius. You know what's crazy? I literally know everyone's name. I pretty much... Like, and I've got bad memory. Now, I'll forget them soon, but, like, I know who they're talking about at the moment. 
Like they've done a really good job of introducing all the all the main group. Really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. Though I really do hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry. You got me thinking about Yusus and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but they're both nobles, right? And Yusus' family rules over the whole eastern side of the empire. So Damn! It kind of feels like I should address them more formally. Now, when they say empire... I wonder if that means, like, the whole of Erebonia. Well, they both said it was okay, Pretty sure so I wouldn't worry called. about it too much. Though you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Yusus every chance you get, like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hoped they'd get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Yusus seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. Look at this guy walking around like he owns the place. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in class 7. Dormitory number 2, for all the common folk like us. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Oh, I'm totally noble. He's totally a noble. I'm still kind of shocked that class 7 gets to have its own dormitory. Though, to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. Seems like they renovated it just for us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Yards, who do we have here? Oh. <sighs> oh, it's the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Class 7, I see. Is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Yes, Patrick! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Yes, Patrick. A word of advice, you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. Ooh, we've got some noble twats right here, it seems. It was inevitable. Ah, <sighs> so they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Yeah. Thank goodness Laura and Yusis aren't like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Bro, that's so unfair, man. Like, could you imagine if there was a school like this? And like... Bro. This makes you think, man. This makes you think, like... Imagine you're on the commoner side. And you're, like, okay with it, because, like, that's the rules of the world, I guess. Wow, really? Guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Huh? It doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. No, I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. Huh. The 
that in Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. As if I, as if I needed to remember Stand, what the game was. Bow. Be seated. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. Hey. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. So a civil war. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man, a man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire, and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rice Arnor. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykel first began gathering his army was... Uh... In a, in a palace somewhere. Green Schwarzer, would you care to tell the class? Oh, God. The place where Dreykel's first started to gather his army was the... Oh, what the hell? Am I back in school? Uh, the, the Nord Highlands in Skyrim. It was the Nord Highlands, a region northeast of Erebonia. Yes! Let's go! Thank you, Skyrim. Prince Dreykel's wandered, wandering led him to the land of Nord, where he lived with the Vagabonds for some time. It was there that he heard of the civil war taking place in Erebonia, and those Vagabonds of Nord became his very first allies. Yes! I got it right. Nord Highlands? Guess he didn't need my help after all. Ah, oh, Lisa! Oh, that's sweet. Huh? There's no way if I got that wrong, I didn't get that plus one. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, hell no. By making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests, you will gain AP. Cool. When you've accumulated enough AP, your rank will increase the next time you report a quest. There are 15 ranks, ranging from B7 to A0. And every time your rank increases, you will receive a perk from the academy. So 7 is lowest, 0 is highest, and then B to A. Every time your rank increases, you will receive a perk from the academy. Wait, are we actually going to, like, be in school? I'm so hyped for this, man. It's like watching a movie. It really is so far. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. Let's go. 
I don't remember In anything you In case you've been living me. under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. A day off, maybe? It's not technically a day off, but there oh. are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. <clears throat> um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one. So feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. A practical exam? What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Oh god, sorry. Just kicked my table. So, I wonder if that's like just a boss fight straight up or something like that. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <sighs> oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement. About a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. Hmm. What? Here it comes. Whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. What? No. Geralt bows to nobody. So let me get this straight. We had to wake up for school to then be told that we can go back home to sleep. I would be so pissed. I'm a little worried about that practical exam next week. I mean, I'm still just getting used to this stuff. Stuff. This stuff. I'd be happy to help you train if you need a sparring partner. The gymnasium looks big enough that I'm sure we'd have no trouble finding a good spot for it. That's very kind of you to offer. But I was planning on attending club practice today. Oh, you've joined the club already? Which one did you pick? I, uh, decided to try for the band. I'm not sure how much use they'll have for a violinist. Oh, I love the violin. Didn't know you played the violin. Did you just pick it up for fun? Y yeah, something like that. How about you guys? Have you joined any of the school's clubs? Considering joining the art club. I did not expect that, Caius, man. <clears throat> I'm considering joining the art club. Ah, uh huh. Somehow that's not what I pictured for you. No pun intended. Yo, Reen even does dad jokes. Me and Reen? I'm gonna call him Omar from now on. Okay, anyway. Do you have any artistic experience? I dabbled in it back home. Taught myself, though, so I feel like this could be a good chance to learn proper technique. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see some of your work sometime. Oh good, you're still here. Instructor? Is there a problem? No, no, I was just hoping someone could do a teensy little favor for me. There's something I need picked up from the student council room. Something you need picked up? What, what would that be? That's for me to know and you to find out. All I'll say is it's something absolutely essential to your school life. Somebody needs to go get it. So it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? Yeah, I'll go. If I show up in the student council room and tell them you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? Wait. Are you sure you don't mind? 
You need two of clubs to go to, right? I'm still totally undecided. This shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look in on a few clubs myself along the way, in fact. Well, if you really don't mind. Thank you. Alright, the student council room is in the student union building next door. At the end of the hall on the second floor. It's open until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hand. Uh, right. <laughs> and there we go. What the hell? We're like walking around the school. Okay. Drink some water quickly. Okay. Oh, music. Any secrets? Student council rooms on the second floor, the student union building. I'm counting on you. Is there a reason you're still here, though? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I actually left the student register in here and forgot all about it. Good thing I remembered, though. Otherwise, I would have had to sit for another of the vice principals next to it. Right. She's not exactly a conventional teacher, is she? Okay, so sometimes when you speak to someone, you get... Alright, let's leave. Oh, okay, you don't have to press X on the doors. How big is this place? Damn! Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna explore everywhere. Class 5's first year classroom. Class 4. Okay, I can see how this is going. So if that's 5 and this is 4... 5 divided by 4, take away the 1, carry the 2. This must be class 1! Oh. Alright. Wait, there's 2, there's 1. Okay. There's gotta be secrets, right? There's gotta be. Like, loot in plants and stuff? How you doing, man? Oh! Uh, how you doing, woman? Uh... Mm. Decide on what club you want to join? I'm considering focusing my time on extracurricular activities during our free days myself. Hopefully we can both make the most of our free day tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow the free day. Okay. Oh, glorious day. We finally got a free day tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm going to spend the whole thing shopping. A little bit of retail therapy is just what the doctor ordered after all those soul-sucking classes. <laughs> I'm ready to spend. My wallet's going to lose a whole bunch of weight tomorrow. Okay. Music room, huh? My name's Hibel. And before you joke that my name rings a bell... <laughs> I'm head of the wind orchestra. The name's a bit misleading though, since you focus on more than just percussion and wind instruments. If your interest lies in strings or something, we'd still be more than happy to have you. If you'd like to join, just stop by whenever you can. It might make more sense if we just called ourselves the music club. Anyway, feel free to stop by if you're ever interested in joining. Yeah, mate, I'm interested in joining. I've been trained in the art of the piano since I was naught but a child. <laughs> what do you think? Do I sound like a normal noble if I talk like that? I've been playing piano for a while though, and I thought it'd be fun to play here too. I wasn't particularly ladylike as a child. Back then I could hardly sit still on a piano bench, let alone play anything. Huh. Music storage room. Ah, oh, nothing re relaxes me like having a violin in my hands. This academy seems really well equipped. This place not, might not be so bad after all. Let's go, Elliot. I'm planning on playing the violin. Hibel apparently plays the violin too, so I might be able to pick up some new techniques from him. Well, you have fun, Elliot, mate. Oh, look. A cool giant guitar thing. <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I know what that's called. It's called the Big Violin. Oh, how you doing? <coughs> oh, my. What a delectable smell. What the hell? Are you an Instagram model? It seems as though it's emanating from the cooking club. Perhaps I should follow my nose and grace them with my presence. Right. Um, okay. The 
smell truly is wonderful. <laughs> Do you suppose they'd be so kind as to let me sample what they're making? Oh god, this game, man, is gonna be fun. Alright. Cooking class, huh? I do love food. So we've got music and cooking. Hello and welcome to the cooking club. Whether you want to learn the essentials of cooking or research new exciting dishes, this is the club for you. You should definitely join if this whets your appetite. I sense an unstoppable force lurking just outside the club room. Perhaps it's a new member just waiting to make their entrance. Yeah, something like that, mate. Hello there. You're a class 7 student, are you not? My name is Mary, I'm the cooking club's advisor. Were you hoping to join? Oh, I'm afraid not, I'm just trying to familiar familiar <clears throat> familiarize myself with the campus. She seems far kinder than I expected a military academy instructor to be. <laughs> That's fine. I happen to be the advisor for the art club and the wind orchestra too. If you're interested in joining either of them, we'll be sure to welcome you with open arms. It's only been two weeks since I started as an instructor here. I suppose you could say I'm something of a first year myself. I hope that this year can be a learning experience for all of us. And of course, please don't hesitate and let me know if you wish to join. Damn, everyone's so nice and kind. That's uh, a storage room. I tried pressing X to see if we could... I, I was going to see if we can attack. Because you already know there's going to be loot in them barrels. Okay. What do we have here? Huh. Um, I don't think you're doing it right, mate. I wonder if joining this club was a mistake. Clara's supposed to be the head of the club, but she's so caught up in her own work, she won't teach us anything. Then there's Gaius, who seems a little hard to approach. Hey, you leave Gaius alone, then. I shouldn't be so quick to judge, though. Maybe I just need to take the initiative and talk to them. That's perfect. I just need to get to know of them. Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Gaius, bro? Huh, right in art while I'm surrounded by art. Wait, wait, are you calling the the ladies? Never mind. Being able to paint in a place like this is an invaluable experience. Definitely not something I was able to enjoy back home. I should ask him about his home sometimes. Seems like an interesting place. I like your hair. I guess we have new members all of a sudden. Well, bully for them. I've got my own art to focus on. Right, shouldn't a club head be a bit more friendly or at least kind of welcoming? Speaking of club head, where, where is she clubbing with that horse? I'm busy with my own art. I'll leave the new members to the advisor. Right, okay. Okay, this is the shopping girl. We'll talk to her. Computer room. Computer room is locked. No! I want to be a gamer! No! Turn the computer on, pretend like you're doing work, and actually be playing the helicopter game. Shout out to anyone who done that in IT class. All right. So we've been across uh, all these rooms and read inside all of them. We've got the rooftop and main building 1F. Let's go to the rooftop first. I think that's the play. Oh, also, I've got the map on fixed. It doesn't rotate. Cool. I prefer my maps to fix. Oh, so pretty. Love the look of this game, man. I love the look of this first city so much. It's just so well put together. Okay. Like, look at that back there. All right, how you doing, Siri? What are you doing up here, Siri? Being bored. That's, that's not what I meant. <laughs> are you planning on joining any clubs? How about I help you look? Oh, too much work. This is a difficult one. 
Nice view up here. Wait. I might come here when I'm bored. Uh. Why does she... Okay. Huh. I'm super intrigued by her character. Okay, so we done the definitely the right call to come up here first, right? Yeah, we've done all this. That's it, we've got main building 1F. Let's go down. Oh, there we go. To all new students, congratulations to all of our newly enrolled students. Have you gotten used to your new life here at the academy yet? I hope that you enjoy your time here as much as possible. Remember, if you're ever feeling uneasy or like you need some advice, just make your way over to the student council room and let us know. Tower Herschel, student council president. Huh. 